Welcome back guys to Final Fantasy 15. We're going to continue on and uh make our way through this uh through this crazy place uh, that's riddled with all these like soldiers and everything. Uh but you just got to love the music itself. I mean, the music's just awesome. Uh okay, well here's the hill. I wonder what we're going to do here. Hmm. Okay. Moreover, in the wake of the news of King Regis's death, we've now received word that Crown Prince Noctis oh, and no. Luna Freya have also been pronounced dead. Keep it on. Oh. Don't bother. <laughs> no. Who's he gonna call? Whoa, that's insane. I'm surprised like these ships don't see them. Cor? So you made it. What the hell's going on? Where are you? Outside the city? With no way back in. Makes sense. <sighs> makes sense? Are you serious? What about any of this makes sense? The news just told me I'm dead, along with my father and Luna. Listen. Mm. Oh. If you're looking for the whole truth, you know where to find me. Get moving. Hmm, so sad. Right. What did the marshal have to say? Seems to be in Hammerhead. Looks like it's back to Hammerhead. Somehow. The king. Aw, it's so... So sad. It's such a sad way to end the chapter. But... You know, that it, that it happens. It is a Final Fantasy game after all. So I'm not really surprised. Alright, well, I mean, it was a good first chapter for sure. Now, uh, yeah, we're going to see what happens in the next one. No turning back. Yeah, I mean, it's just crazy. You know, just the thought of peace between kingdoms and all that kind of stuff. Just shatters I guess well I mean it, we'll see how it goes you know um, I haven't seen gameplay and like footage of you know what happens and stuff so I'm pretty much just going in blind like you know I should be and everyone else should be but um but yeah so far it's a good story it's going to be interesting to see what happens because there's so much to happen in this game. Um, I mean, we haven't even touched upon, like, you know, the staples of the Final Fantasy series, which is like like, like summons and magic and, and all that kind of stuff. And we, we have magic, but I'm not particularly using it. But, um, yeah, just so many other elements of this game that we've yet to explore so it's gonna be interesting. I'm I'm excited. Just gotta endure this long. It's a long wait time though. <laughs> but yeah, how's it going, guys? Oh well, here we go. Hey, that's a uh, Luna Freya. How is she? Uh, how is she here? Is this a flashback or? Oh, there's the book. She got the book. Hmm. Who are you? The Ring of the Loose Eye. Uh. 
I have no idea what that was all about. Okay, well, I'm sure it'll be explained later on. Um, but yeah. That's true. Yeah. Sure, Noctis has a lot on his mind already, so it's not like uh, he's going to be talking too much. That's true. Because he's clearly alive. <laughs> Hey, look, it's Cindy. What's up, Cindy? I'm sure she heard the news. Hey. Glad y'all made it. <laughs> no weather for driving, that's for sure. Oh, thanks. Where's Cor? Uh, met to see the business. And left y'all a message with Papa. Okay. Boss ain't sat still one second since he heard y'all were coming. I ain't never seen Papa like this before. The pep's gone out of him like air from a tire. Hmm. All right. Well, let's go talk to. Let's go talk to old Sid. Guessing he's in here. Yep. Crystal and the King's Ring. What they've been after all along. So all talk of peace was. Hmm. They played my father for a fool. Don't kid yourself. Reggie wasn't born yesterday. Lucius got dealt a losing hand, and your old man played it the best he could. He saw this coming a mile away. Hmm. In the end, though, it gets worse. Seems like Sid knows a lot. Um, wonder what his backstory is, really. You need something else, you talk to Cora. I can't even remember the last time I saw Reggie. Feels like a lifetime ago. Oh, so they did have a history back in the day. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, let's get going. Hey, it's sunny now. Or Cora left a message. Said he'll wait for you in the tombs. The tombs. They're to the northwest of here. That's a short ways past the outpost. Find that first. Okay. Oh wait, he has a quest. Let's see what this quest is about. Interesting toy you got there. This? It's just something we picked up after taking out some Imperials. Well, hmm. I'll be Crown City made. If you like, I can make this puppy better. Give it more oomph. How? I can mod it for you. Mod it? Look, I got diddly squat to do what with Cindy taking care of the <laughs> It's true. If you can find the parts, I can do the work for you. The master mechanic. So metal scrap. Do we have metal scrap already? Oh yeah, we do. All right, y'all just sit tight while I do my tinkering. Oh look at that! A 500 experience right there. Shoot. Here she is. Try her out and let me know what you think. Okay. Sure. Let's. Try this bad boy out. Um, oh, I got rid of my engine blade? How did that happen? Oh, well, it's fine. Oh, because I put the broadsword on, that's right. Uh, 
upgrade version of the polearm oh okay yeah definitely definitely increases let's uh can we equip, equip it right now no maybe I want to equip it I want to equip it yeah there we go Yeah, I did. Totally did. Okay, cool. I'll keep it on. Alright, let's go ahead and go to the post. Um, it's definitely far away out. Uh, I think what I'm going to do, let's check out the diner really quick. And I want to see if there's any quests or anything. Oh, hey, what's this? Quest! <laughs> Yeah, that's us, Taka. You all want to fetch some edibles for me? Why are you asking us? Well, it's just that old Sid. Sid? Yep. Said <laughs> I should give you all some work. Don't matter what kind. Seeing as you boys can't go home for the time being. Got us there. <laughs> True. Okay. Sure, man. Yeah, took care of that pretty quickly. Not much of a job after all. Who went easy on us? Let's deliver this as a show of thanks. <laughs> so, uh, what can I do you for? Things I can tell you. Oh, look at that. We got a lot of procurement points right now. Uh, let's see what we got hunt wise. Got the raindrops in the night. I mean, we can go ahead and pick this bad boy up. I don't see why we can't. Uh, we do have another hunt going on. Mm. I'll go ahead and just take this right now. You boys are a brave bunch. Yeah, Flanzer. Plans are crazy. I mean, it's funny because in previous, you know, Final Fantasy games, they're not that big. They're not that big of a deal. They're actually pretty easy to, to uh, take out. So how's it going, boys? How's about a bite to eat? Y'all hungry? Um, I don't think I need. Oh. Hold on, so I have two quests going on right now, right? So, let's see. So it's instructed to target a put, uh, must retrieve the requested ingredient. Okay, so we have an ingredient that we have to get. Which, it looks like we've already got, technically. Well, let's step out and then step back in. Maybe that'll... Trigger it. He sure is hard on us. I think he's worried about us. He wants us to prove. Oh, oh, Sid's friends, was it? Oh, but it's not letting me. Uh. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. I was wondering. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess it went a little soft on you. I'll be sure to give you more of a challenge next time. How's about that? That sounds Anywho, good. I appreciate your help. Here's a little care package. Should make for good eating. Mm, we sure do love to eat. <laughs> oh, look at that. 300. See, I love these side quests because they just give you, like, easy experience. Like, right there. Oh, look at that. We get... Oh, look at that. I like it. Uh, let's see what else he needs us for. Hey, boys. <laughs> you uh, got time to lend a fella a helping hand? Yeah, man. As long as it's not a simple shopping trip this time. Nope, this one's going to take some effort. I'm sending you all straight to the source this time. Okay, okay. In other words, it's hunting time. The stuff I want you all to collect, I'm fixing to use in a new dish. Hmm. Maybe you can help me out. Maybe Agnes might be able to take the recipe? A dagger quill breast. Okay. 
So where do we get this bad boy? Oh, it sure is nighttime now. <laughs> so he's creating a new dish. That's what he says, anyway. Cool. Wonder what he's cooking up. Let's do this hunt and find out. Hmm. Okay, so let's check out the map. So we've got let's see. That is the outpost, which we are not gonna do right now. Mm. Yeah, I don't know where Where is this quest taking us? Okay, so we have to go over here. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's turn around. There we go. Alright, let's just go over really quick and see what we gotta do. Hopefully we could take this bad boy out easily. And then uh, we can end the episode right there. Let's pick up this item first though. Oh, just a little antidote. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we're going to run into some peeps now. I don't doubt that we're not since it's nighttime and all. I'm just hoping it's not going to be anything too crazy. <laughs> Last thing we need is like some crazy iron giant or something <laughs> ready to pounce on us. Because we certainly are not ready for that. I, mean, I could certainly try, and I might actually try off screen if that actually does happen, but... Other than that, that's going to be a tough for sure. Let's take him down. Oh. Watch out. Wait, what? Why'd you say watch out? Huh? How do I... This was the area where I believe that crazy monster was. Um... Here we go. Got two of them right there. Oh, these, yeah, these guys are a little tougher. It is the first guys that are actually, like, not, uh, ground, like, grounded. Like, these are the first ones that we're dealing with that are airborne. <laughs> Oh man. Oh man. Probably like a warp strike to it. There we go. Nice. Take him out with the gun. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh okay, where do we go? <laughs> Or how do we get out of here? Is the better question. Okay, well I'll figure it out. Uh, I'll head back over to the diner. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one. All right, take care.